English scoots in and scores. What a goal! Brooks English stepped on the gas and the sophomore strikes. Beautiful individual effort. John Crawley, the uh, offensive coordinator for John Hopkins. Johns Hopkins does a wonderful job here creating space for English. Look, you don't see a, a defend, defender from Denver in the picture until English has gained inside leverage. And now the slide. Played lacrosse, played in the NFL. Cole Kastner, who you'll see later from Virginia today, will play basketball at Stanford next year. Equalizer for Denver. It's the Speedy Lampert. Career point number 100. Well, not the equalizer, makes it 3 2. Gets Denver closer. Very quick energy spark. He's got the matchup against the short stick defender. Okay, typically Notre Dame would double team, but they leave him on an island. And Lampert makes him pay. The senior from Massachusetts, an energy guy, an ankle breaker, great acceleration. Turn the corner. Shot out of a cannon. I talked to him yesterday. He said his idol growing up was Jordan Wolf. The straight line speed dodges, the afterburners, and really smart to box out but not go too far behind the end line. Rilla scores on the run! He's showing us the full repertoire tonight. Lefty step down. Righty twister. Lefty on the run. A master class in terms of shooting versatility. The two-handed gem from St. John's. And they will attack you. It's the subtle things, though. As they were going through the ground ball, did you see how Pat Cavanaugh, like, pushed Matthew Nunes off his line? And then scores. That's a goal card. A direct result of the relentless ride that this Notre Dame offense does to you when you get possession deep in your own end. The play is never over for every single young attackman that plays the game. You go after the defense. You go after the goalie recklessly to get these second opportunities. And how fitting the guy who was orchestrating that ride was the one who scored, Pat Cavanaugh. A beautiful. See him back in the game, 28 white. After he hobbled off moments ago, Spanish defender falls down. He gets a little bit of an inch, and he makes the most of it. Clark, what quick thinking. Defender fell down. He immediately went to the rack. Spanos is so comfortable in that spot. Nate Levine, 34 in white. A reserve long stick midi and close defender a year ago. Now is a short stick because of the depth issues. Spanos is a former high school attackman. Yep. The westernmost program in Division I lacrosse has got another goal here in the second. And that's Ryan Steins. It's his first of the day. The ASUN Player of the Year. The Cary, North Carolina native. He's got a lot of family and friends in attendance and they like what they see. Stein can play attack, but a little wrinkle. They're now moving him out into the midfield, running him out of the box so he can get a short stick matchup. And that time, Aiden McGuire, number 23 in white, just gives him way too much room, way too much space. You can see he was respecting the dodging ability, but didn't stop. Leo through traffic, bounces it in. And he's the guy that can win that matchup one-on-one. -on -one. It's becoming a broken record. Lefty, sophomore from St. Anthony's. He's the movable chess piece from midfield to attack with a wing dodge, roll back, re-dodge to the middle, sensing that the double team didn't have much impact. Michael Leo. Low shot and a score. It's the redshirt freshman, the A-10 rookie of the year, Jesse Jason. St. Joe's 
is taking the punches. Yeah, this looks like the, it's going to be a four-quarter game, Q. If Virginia can't clear, St. Joe's may be getting off back on that bus with a playoff win at, at this pace. This young man from Liberty High School in Sykesville, Maryland, he's only a sophomore. He got a little playing time at the end of last year. Starts with a failed clear, another botch clear. Virginia's just not seeing the passing lanes. And here's this uncommon speed. Stutter step, step away, defender lunges. And you know, sitting and feeling sorry for yourself isn't an option, it's time to get to work. Owen oh, Duffy, hat trick. And if you think someone wants it, it's Owen Duffy. He's having a phenomenal game, three goals already. I've already said at the beginning, he was our player to watch. You need him to have a big day if they're gonna pull off this upset. Duffy just strong. You cannot just put a stick on him, especially if you're gonna slide. They, Army doesn't like to slide. They're gonna hold on. They're gonna let Pilot work the one-on-one, -on -one. but right now, Duffy's getting the- Now make way for Kelleher to come out. First. CJ cursed. Oh boy. Sometimes the magical things that 15 can do just leave you gazing. Well, and there's an opportunity. That was a matchup, right? They, they were able to switch the matchup. He had a short stick for a while, and then they sent the defender, Colin Brown, at him, not the guy who's been.